Dad Olsen? Yes. Ah, saw you on YouTube. Because I guess he was looking at this 105 foot thing <laughs> that somebody was restoring. They had like 25 guys on this thing. Not to mention the other shops like the cabinets and the spars and all that. He says, yeah, I saw you. He says, there's some real garbage out there. I said, are you talking to me? <laughs> he says, no, no, you're just good. It's a page turner. So, okay. <laughs>
Well, what do you what do we have? Well, we made about seven seven plus courses here, down to the new plank that we're installing right now, and everything had a primer coat on it before we install the planks. They have one primer coat on them, right. and we get another primer coat on everything once it's installed. But we usually wait a few planks. Like I said, there's about seven courses here, both sides, and we got a primer coat on those the other day. And yesterday, the first coat of Hatteras, which is the final What's color. What's the Hatteras? It's the off, Hatteras off-white. Okay. It's the final color. It's going to be okay. behind all the ceiling planks and anything you see in here. Great. Um, so we're not really painting the old framing, this stuff here. Uh, we're concentrating on all the new stuff and any new supports we had to put in. Like these, we had to put some supports in here to carry these. Uh, what was that for the drawers? Yeah, the, originally these were out all the way against the hull, resting on the hull. So uh -huh. we kind of cut everything back so we're not resting on the hull, or if we had to move something for a butt block. Gotcha. But uh, we're still and working on getting this all dialed in here. Okay. But pretty close. I mean, there's not oh, yeah. much more to do. Yeah, this will probably take one more coat of paint. Gotcha. Done. Gotcha. It's behind the drawers and everything, but right. even though it's covered up, we still want it sealed up. Dialed in. Great. And then up forward in the V-berth, we're looking yeah, pretty forward, good. Yeah, we're looking, this, it's the same thing up forward there. That's all going to have ceiling planks and framing. You're not going to see any of it, but we're going to have, it's going to be painted plenty. Gotcha. And we'll just to see the last few courses there. Yeah. Unpainted. I think seven courses since I started sanding. All right, so we're here in the saloon, and uh, yeah, you can see the, uh, the final courses. Shining through. And I think we got about one, two, three, four, five, six, uh, six plus seven. Seven. So. Everything's and, uh, got its first coat of primer, and then we go back and we just give it a light sand, right. rub everything up. Um, get now, it. all those are below the waterline, that's why we see the. Yeah, it's uh, all going to be caulking doubles right there. These are all there. why we see it? Yeah. Great. Above here, this is all obviously above. We've edge glued everything, so it's. All oh, looks good. Yeah. Wiring coming together. I think we saw that the last time. And the nav station is done. Just ready to be installed, right? Okay, and then also we have the, um, the uh, bulkhead, which is looking good. It's solid. Yeah, the bulkhead's solid again. All that. All Once this again. work that's been done, it's now finished. That took so long. <laughs> like this beam here. It took the about main a, beam. the main yeah. beam, which took about I don't know a month of work. It's all refastened. All beautiful and solid. Yeah, it's all laminated. So yeah. So we're looking good. Good. Yeah. All right. Okay, we're sitting with my brother John on the deck. He's going to tell us a little bit about some of the things that are happening in the electrical right. department. Yeah. All right. So there's a couple of things down here that are pretty important. One is the water heater. And we now have the ability to have hot water and therefore showers and wash up. And David had to do some pretty interesting tricks to get it into the place, taking off the lid. And, and then all of the electronics is now powered off of a whole new set of transformers and uh, wiring so that it doesn't short in and out the way it used to. And then on the other side, we have the larger inverter for the battery. So we can now store a lot more power than we used to. So that's a, a huge change now. We've upgraded all the electrical work. Um, there's a whole new power panel, distribution panel. All the wiring has been replaced. Yeah, it's um, pretty amazing. So yeah. So yeah. if you come back here to the um, to the cockpit, there's a couple of interesting things. One of which is that the winch can now be controlled from the tiller. So you can actually bring the anchor up or down directly from the. Oh, I didn't see that. He yeah, put that that's in. Yeah, brand new. That he and I worked on now. And in addition, all of the uh, all of the electronics for you know steering and weather and chart tracking will all be available to the person behind the wheel. And that's uh, been a pretty big uh, change from the way it used to be. So here is the final course before the shutter, number twelve or twenty. We're now doing the caulking bevel. Here we go. Taper. So basically you're going to take off the edge. That's just about it. We're, we're going to bevel this. Right down. Roughly 60% of its uh, 
thickness. Great, let's take a look at this. It's the caulking bed. Excellent. This is one of the little secrets. <laughs> Many years ago, yeah. after doing it the way I was told, I decided to do it the way, not the way I was told. And it's a shortcut. It's pretty foolproof. Okay, so why are you drawing the line on it? Well, you notice how the line's thicker and thicker in places? No. Yeah. Like, see here, it's, it's only about a sixteenth, and here it's a full eighth. Okay. Tapers back down to something over a sixteenth. So when it goes up on the boat, it appears to be even all the way. You're saying you're just drawing it a little thicker or a little thinner? Well, you draw... Uh, I like to make caulking bevels for a boat this size, this thickness of planking, a little over an eighth, down to zero. Okay. And as you can see, that's pretty much what they are. And it's just a way of laying that out. the whole point to keep the ocean out and this is just a reference line for the depth it's usually about 60% of the plank thickness somewhere there Try to take out right there. Yeah, you take this line to zero here. That's okay. your that's your your bevel. Gotcha. So the cotton's driven in not too hard. Where it almost bottoms out in here. So the cotton ends up being shaped like a wedge, but comes up about a quarter inch or so shy of the outside of the plank. <clears throat> and that's where your seam compound goes. In this case, below the waterline, we'll use tar. And uh, so that when the plank begins to swell, you want this edge, this, the inside edge of the plank, to swell up tight against this plank above and below it. The cotton cuts into the plank and causes it, eh, of course it keeps water out, but it really doesn't keep the water out. What really keeps the water out is these planks swelling together, you know? Okay. And the paint that's on the plank crushes into that under tremendous pressure and it gets watertight. <clears throat> so when you're fitting bottom planks, you want them to fit nice but not banging them in there, you know? <laughs> like the shutter, you want it to go in kind of like, boom, you know? Not bam, bam, you know? You see guys doing that, it's just, oh no. And that's because you want it to have somewhere to swell too, Yeah, right? Yeah, because if a plank can't swell, what happens? It gets wet like a, a sponge. Mm -hmm. if, if you're squeezing a sponge, it can't absorb any water. As soon as you let go, the sponge can absorb water. And it's kind of like that. But the plank is, uh, will crush across the fiber, across the grain, and not get, ever get any bigger. Yep. Yeah. You know, we can retire this tool pretty soon. <laughs> not yeah, really. Why not use an electric plane? Uh, you have to be pretty precise here. Yeah. Yeah, you have to not only <clears throat> take a small amount, but you have to be able to feel what you're taking off. And just keep uh, raising the blade a little bit to the final cut. You see how we're getting rid of the line we made? I see 
some blood. Yeah, well, I hurt my hand the other day. I keep banging it. Uh. Now, you see what we've done? That line that we drew represented how much we took off here, heading in here to zero. So we're almost done. And you clean it up a little with a final shot. Bingo, bango, bongo. Just getting rid of any tiny little lumps or bumps. No, it's not even really necessary, but you just do it. We come back on the flat now for our final pass on this. And when you do the shutter plank, the day before you fit it, you get it cut and ready to go. You put a thin coat of paint on the plank above and below in the opening. That way, when it's going in and you're fitting it, if there's a little bump in it, it'll mark it. That dried paint, it'll be dry, but not totally cured. So the day before you go to fit the shutter plank, you paint a thin coat, because you can always add more. <clears throat> yeah. And the shutter plank, you see this sharp edge here? In order for it to go in, you take, you put a little tiny chamfer on there. Like a sixteenth. Right, just to help it get Well, otherwise it'll chew it up. Yeah. And you want it to go in nice, but not super tight. <laughs> yeah, just get rid of any leftover marks. It's really, really hard to see. Okay. Oh, yes. So you see how the, see the distances? They're about an eighth or so? Yeah. That's what we just developed in here. Okay. Tight on the inside, coming out to about an eighth. Uh -huh. Then we'll have to wedge this up, of course, but. If you see a caulking bevel that big on a boat this size, yeah, it's too big. Something wrong with that. No. You see how we're, um... Okay, go ahead. We're clamping towards the bottom edge because the plank's twisting in this way. Okay. That's what that's all about. Get a clamp here, Peter. Clamp. Right there. Uh, hook it in here and onto the longitudinal, which is right up here. All right, let me try that. Ready? Yep. Okay, hit it. Again. Okay, one light one. Done. Thank you. Fun with clamps. Tight in the inside. Okay. And we got about an eighth out here. That's what you're looking for. Uh, is this clamp tight? This clamp is tight. Okay, the wedge is here. Okay. 
No. For me. <clears throat> okay. Well, now, was that exciting or what? That was very exciting. Very exciting. Come on now. So, you guys have a, a nice Thanksgiving? Yeah. Same to you. Where are you going? I am going next door. <laughs> no, my next door neighbor. Yes. Yeah.